Are you ready to end your suffering? Are you ready to, to just finally realize that everything you thought was genuine is not? As Adya Shanti says so succinctly, and this doesn't even begin to cover it. It's the end of your world. It is the end of your world. How can that be? Two ways, in, in my experience. One way is there's seven billion different humans on this planet, and there are seven different, seven billion different realities, and that's just the way it is. We all make our reality up in our heads, and then our hearts add the emotion, and bam, my world's real. What about yours? <laughs> that's just not the way it is. I mean, it is in the sense of all seven billion of us do that, and each one, each one has its own validity. But none of them are true. And then beyond that, end of your world means that it's recognized beyond a shadow of a doubt that this here is not the reality. It is a reality. It is a version of ideas manifested, is one way to say it. There's really no easy way to talk about it. I have heard everything from the most simplistic to the most simple and clear to the most profoundly complex explanations of what this is, life, what life is, what th these are, the bodies, the body minds. I've heard so many, not all of course, but enough to know that <laughs> it's not going to be easily explained. <laughs> And in the end, it doesn't have to be. Again, awakening comes with its own set of things to deal with. But once you deal with most of them, after that, things are a lot easier. So, if you're interested in ending it, meaning ending your suffering, if you're not afraid of the idea because you have no concept of it now, believe me, of the end of your world. What could you do? Or what could you contemplate? Or what would be the next step? Or just a big question mark. The foundational issue here in this world with human beings is that we believe we are human beings we are not. We believe that we are each a discrete, separate entity with the name I. The me. The self. We are not. When this is seen beyond a shadow of a doubt, and it's an intellectual and it's an emotional, psychological, and it is a gut realization. When that occurs, then the rest falls into place. When that occurs, it is seen that suffering is a story. When that occurs, it is seen that anger and resentment and sadness and confusion, all of those things, e even what we call happiness, even what we call contentment are all simply things that are applied on top of what it is we actually are. Are you ready to end this? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so here's what I want to tell you. If you're ready to end it, if you can call up just a moderate amount of courage and 1,000% of your honesty. It's doable. It's totally doable. Look, is there a you anywhere to be found inside? Is there one in your head? A little self steering? Is there one 
in your heart? Is there one in your gut? Is there one behind your shoulder? Is there a you? Look. And then look again. 